This two minute art tips video shows how to create pale tints and saturated tints with watercolour. So what will you need? A good sketching block or watercolour pad. Watercolour brushes, not the bristle sort for poster paints and oil and acrylic. Watercolour brushes. Watercolours, I'm using the cake variety which are excellent for this exercise. An HB pencil and pencil sharpener. Two jars of clean water for rinsing brushes. And a roll of paper towels. To create a pale tint with watercolour, we just add water. Don't add white, it changes the colour. So we can add lots and lots of water here and then paint with it. But notice that this does not come out very, very pale. So the best way of achieving a very, very pale tint is to wet the paper first. Maybe not too much water. And then to introduce the colour to the wet paper, like this. And you can now spread it gently through the area that you've already wet. To get a saturated colour, we don't want so much water when we paint. We need a lot of water to dissolve the cake of watercolour to get as much paint in the brush as possible. And when you think you've got it thick enough, test it off to the side. See if it is strong enough or if it's still a little transparent, mix more because you're dissolving the paint into the water that is there. Test it again and then you could use it in your painting or in your design. Paul Clay is an excellent artist to look at to study the use of saturated colours in contrast with pale tints. Another artist you can look at is the New Zealand artist Rita Angus, who used similar contrasts in her landscapes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and share it. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, art projects and lesson ideas, please subscribe to my channel, Rob the Art Teacher.